Hey Fantastic You, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. So I really enjoyed the last painting that I did, my last video. So I'm gonna go again, but we're gonna go on a bigger size and hopefully this will work out. So this is a one foot by three foot canvas. I'm gonna use my five chamber split cup. I've got all liquid X paints except for my yellow. The yellow is Artist Loft metallic lemon yellow. I've got Pyrrole red here, light blue permanent, brilliant blue, thylo cyanide blue, and then my base coat is just gonna be Artist Loft titanium white. So I'm going to put my colors, same order, into my split cup. So I'm gonna pause you, get that filled up, then I'll bring you back. Okay, got my cup filled up, got my white base on my canvas. I have lifted it up on this end here. I'm gonna do a ring pour here and hopefully we'll get the waterfall effect coming all the way down. So, wish me luck. Right at the corner of my table here. Oh, before I start, I'm probably gonna to have to pause you once my cup is almost empty to kind of refill it up because I just don't think I'll have enough paint to get nice coverage all the way down. So, and my cup's not big enough. Just an FYI. Beautiful colors. Not staying very centered, am I? No. I do want this to be nice and bright. That yellow and thylocyanine blue, oh, they look so nice together. stop this so I can fill up my cup. So don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back. Let's start again. Kind of cover up my last few ones before. I am moving cup around, kind of like in a half circle, and that's just to get some of the colors to go in different areas. Okay, I want to try and end this nicely. It's always the trickiest part and I always make a mess of it. Let me find my little bamboo stick. There it is. We'll just fix up where I messed up a little bit. Just getting the white paint off of it. Okay, let's start tilting this bad boy. Actually, I am gonna give it a bit of a torch because I can see some bubbles even though I let my paint sit for a while. My cup's out of the way. Let's get that down there. 
tilt more towards the center. Beautiful colors. This is what I wanted, nice and bright. Start going to that corner over there. Gonna tilt away from you for a second. Get the other corner on that end. Got some nice shades of green opening up in here. Looks very nice. Over that corner, we are over. Okay, let's start coming back this way. Hopefully I've got enough paint on here. Let me just move those cups out of the way. I'm going to go for the far corner first. did get a lot of paint off this, so hopefully I've got enough paint left. I know you can't see everything that I'm doing. My apologies. There. Now we got one more corner. And I'm sorry, I'm tilting away from you. This is just too big to turn around. It's going, it's going. There, just me. My corners aren't 100% covered. I'm gonna fix those after. Oh, I like this. Give me one second, then I'll make sure that you are straight looking at it. Okay, what do you think? My inspiration for these colors were a social media post I saw of a parrot. And I was like, those colors look fantastic together. So let's try and get it on a painting. I love how there's little bits of green showing up, even though there is no green in the painting. Our yellow and blue has done that. And we have the bright red popping through. The yellow has muted a bit and I'm okay with that. Got no problem with that. But yeah, like blue, yellow, red, blue. I think it turned out really, really good. I am so happy with this one. But thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.